So suppose you and your friends are hanging out at a cafe and suddenly what if a friend says, dude, I've got a killer idea. And you say, yeah, what is your idea? And then he says, dude, let's build a social network. And you say, yes, maybe. And then he goes on to say, we will build a social network with cool features, cool name, and we will only have some cool people on it. And then you think to yourself, well, how am I supposed to get people on it? Hey, what's on guys? I'm Arunav Jodhri and this is Elo. Like every other social network, Elo too has a backstory behind it. What started as a seven artists personal social network has now expanded to a big corporation which now is working towards its final public release. What buys Elo's for me though is the experience. Right from when I log into the home page, I'm greeted by a very clean look and all the posts I see if it has an image is shown in a very large size and fonts also look really beautiful. Elo allows you to upload images at a very high resolution so it is aimed directly for artists and photographers alike. One of my most favorite features on Elo is the friends and noise feature. This feature is very, very elaborative, but let's get into it. When you follow a lot of people on Elo, you can filter the people who you actually really want to follow and some you could just see whenever you want to see. So how you can do that is by clicking friends and noise on each of their profiles. What it does is that whenever you log in, you will be shown your friends well, activities and not your noise people. So whenever uh, you want to see you no know, very important follow up of what your favorite person is doing or what your friend is doing, you can instantly see it if you have them on your friends. And if you really if you want to check out what other people are doing, you can always click on noise. Once I had asked one of the co-founders of this website the question that why do they think that the, uh, what is the top reason why people visit the website and I found out that the best feature of their website was data anonymity. So this means that none of the user's data will actually be used to sell ads directly to them. Actually, it would be used to give users the optimal experience for the website. Let's say for an example, you, if many people are using Elo from Netherlands, they will add a Dutch, um, Dutch feature, Dutch language feature so that people who know Dutch can also use Elo very efficiently. Elo has surely expanded in this short span of time, launching their app on the App Store and one coming to Android soon. This company is getting their official launch very very soon. And since it's competing with the likes of other major social networks, you might be wondering why should I be on Elo and if you are someone who really craves good experience and uh, better functionality maybe we, you can consider a new social network even in this world we live already there is so many places you can be virtually that it makes someone wonder how real are our relationships or our people we meet so guys that was hello make uh, if you enjoyed this video give it a like and also share this video with your friends make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content like this and also make sure to visit my blog neolithics.boxford.in 
Again, that is neolithics.blogspot.in where you can find more content like this. Again guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.